Hi students, welcome to my channel study care. Now we are going to talk about Adi Sharma, class 10th mathematics, chapter 1 real numbers, exercise 1.5 base for examples. In the list, we are going to talk about example number 4. We are going to prove that root 5 is an irrational number. This question is already in 2009 and 2010. We are going to talk about this question. This question is already in the NCAT. We are going to attach this video. Hi students, welcome to my channel study care. Now we will see the CBC class 10th max in the first chapter in exercise 1.2 in the first sum. What do you say? Prove that root 5 is irrational. If you ask these questions, we will use a different method. How do you say it? First, we will do an assumption. We will say it is irrational. But we will assume that it is irrational. அதுக் கப்பிறு நம்ம ஒரு process follow பண்ணி, solve பண்ணி, கடைசில வந்து நம்ம பண்ண assumption வந்து தப்பு. சோ, அதுனால இது வந்து irrational நம்ம conclusion கொண்டு வருவோம். இப்போ நம்ம பண்ணிர் solvation வந்துடு root 5 மட்டும் கிடையாது. root 2 கேட்டாலும் சரி, root 3 கேட்டாலும் சரி, root 7, root 11, root 13 இந்த மறி எந்த நம்மர் கேட்டாலும் சரி. நம்ம வந்துடு இதை let us assume that, assume to the contrary, contrary in the contradiction, that root 5 is irrational in the case. What we are going to do now is a rational number. We are going to assume that. So, we can find another integers a and b such that root 5 is equal to a by b. இன்ன ராஷ்னல் நம்மும் நம்மும் அசியும் பண்ணது நால் root 5 is equal to a by b இதை equation 1 என்று வைச்சுக்கும் இந்த a and b என்னது where a and b are the co-prime numbers and b வந்து not equal to 0 so co-prime numbers நான் என்ன உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இதுவுட hcf வந்து 1 அருக்கும் next step squaring on both side of equation 1. So, நம்மலுக்கு என்ன கிடிக்கும்? We get root 5 whole square equal to a by b whole square. Square உன் square root உன் cancel ஆயும் அப்போ 5 is equal to a square by b square. இது வேர் மாரி எப்படியில்லாம்? இது cross பண்ணிங்கே கொண்டு வந்தாம் பிடின்னா 5b square equal to a square. இது equation கூண்டு வச்சுக்கும்லாம். That is, b square is equal to a square by 5. அடுத்து, இதில் நம்மலுக்கு வந்து என்ன தெரிய வருது? This shows that a square is divisible by 5. Now, by theorem 1.2. நான் வந்து new edition book வந்துடு, revised edition வந்துடு follow பண்டுறேன். So, அதில வந்து theorem 1.2. என்ன சொல்லுது? It follows that A is also divisible by 5. இது equation 3 நிடத்துக்குருவோம். அந்த theorem 1.2 என்ன சொல்லுது? அது ஒருத்துரோ பத்துரோமா. Let P be a prime number if P divides A square then P also divides A, where A is a positive integer. So, we can write, எப்படி எடுதலானம் A is equal to 5C for some integer C. அது A is equal to 5C நிடுத்தீங்க, இது வந்து ஒரு procedure, என்ன பிருப் பண்டுக்கு, to prove that B is also divisible by 5 வந்து வந்து பிருப் பண்டுக்கு இது ஒரு procedure. அடுத்த step போலாங்களா? Now, putting a is equal to 5c in equation 2. We get என்னது 5b square equal to 5c whole square. That is 5b square equal to 25c square which implies that b square is equal to 25c square by 5. 5, 5, 5 times. So, b square is equal to 5c square. 
which implies that b square is equal to either one then upon land denominator one under the b square by 5 is equal to c square either one the equation and under the group four minute this means that b square is divisible by 5 and so again by theorem 1.2 b is also divisible by 5 to the equation find it from equation 3 and 5 conclude we can conclude that 5 is a common factor of both a and b but this contradicts our assumption that a and b are co primes the contradiction is relevant the contradiction has arised because of our incorrect assumption that root 5 is rational final conclusion so we can conclude that root 5 is an irrational. Thank you.